Thank you, and uh, you know, technology can be brutal at times, uh, but uh, I just want to say, we, we normally provide a little bit of latitude, uh, but there's some 70 speakers, I think, uh, that are listed here, so uh, you'll apologize. I don't know, we haven't counted them all, but uh, well, uh, it's a lot, and I would just say uh, we're going to stick to the time just so that we can get to uh, everybody. Serving breakfast tomorrow. Yeah, that's right. Uh, next is Masood Mohajir. Masood. Well, Sorry, I'm going to have to wear these purple glasses because no I've got mine at home. You'll have the privilege of seeing my purple face. Um, um, Mr. Mayor, councillors, ladies and gentlemen, um, there is a lot of passion going around this room today, uh, and I'm not going to add to the theatrics, uh, but I'm going to try and just come to the point. Um, racism, xenophobia, intolerance, political agendas, threats, and retribution. Sorry, I'll go back. Masood Mahajar from Markham, I've been here for 10 years. So. Um, Racism, xenophobia, intolerance, political agendas, threats, retribution, division, animosity, and anger. These are just some of the words and sentiments awash in our community at the moment, and why? All because segments of the community have voiced concern that the political act of raising flags results in creating division among the citizens of this city I call home. And this concern, shared, might I add, by councillors and the deputy mayor here present today, has resulted in other members of the community labeling those seeking to avoid division and consternation as racist, xenophobic, intolerant white folk with political agendas. I am here today to vociferously dispel any ill-conceived or misguided notion any of you esteemed elected officials or other members of the public here today or at home may have about the reasons why we are asking you to stop the very public and political act of raising flags which is causing all this ruckus in this community. Rather than bringing the community together, this act of raising flags is just creating divisions. Perhaps it was a mistake on the parts Perhaps it was a mistake on the part of some members of the community advocating or calling for the cessation of this practice by highlighting the human rights abuses of certain nations as reason enough not to honor them by raising their flags. But not beating around the bush and cutting straight to the chase and calling a spade a spade is the best way for us to let you know that there are valid reasons why we feel that flags of nations should only be raised on the occasion of the visit by a dignitary and no other time. We celebrate diversity here in Markham. We are what I call a rojack. This is Malay for a delicious, nourishing salad with many constituent parts, each with its own flavor profile, perfectly blending into one another to make one unforgettable dish. Markham is this Rojak, an unforgettable community comprised of many constituent parts. But the Rojak can spoil very easily. One or more of the ingredients could be spoiled or overpowering the others. And then you have a bad taste in your mouth. There are countless innumerable ways to celebrate diversity and honor the cultures of the various parts of our community, all of which I deeply respect and admire. We do this all the time with festivals, art shows, food events, musical events, and the list goes on. But the raising of a flag is a political act. Yes. Don't be fooled. And when those nations... And when those nations mistreat their people, jail hours for no reason, condemn some to death for just the act of loving one another, incarcerate millions because of their faith, hold people up in refugee camps in the Mediterranean and the Pacific, or, for, or cut down trees in the Amazon, which lead to unimaginable consequences for our palate, then these very acts great against the very essence of what it means to be Canadian. 
We stand for something. We stand for human rights. We stand for dignity. We stand for the respect of the rights of people to love one another. We stand for the environment. And if we simply pay lip service to these ideals and do not stand up for something, we are absolutely nothing and just bystanders. Raising flags is divisive and creates problems. Look around you today. See the tensions this has caused, and all for nothing. We honor our fellow citizens. We value their cultural contributions and recognize them as inherent constituents of this Rojak. I proudly call this place my home. But when it comes to standing up for what it means to be Canadian and my respect for human rights, I stand up for what is right. And today, I'm standing before you to ask you to... Next is Dean, Dean